Hi kitty cats. I know I've been a bit somber the past few days and so I wanted to make a funny video to lighten the mood. Since I've been here in Thailand, I've been aware just how much a woman like I am stands out. And you can see the original video there. In the US, I'm nothing exceptional. I stand five foot nine inches tall, like 176 centimeters. I am just within the second sigma of female height statistics, at least in the Western world. In Thailand, however, that is not the case. I stand two or three inches, five to seven centimeters, taller than the tallest woman. I'm about the height of a tall Thai man. My nurses in the hospital pointed that out to me several times about how my feet touched the end of the bed and so they could never stay warm. A typical Thai woman is also delicately boned and very slender and I'm, well, not. After the bandages came off my breast augmentation, which is by no means disproportionate to my body, they told me to go get a supportive bra and I'd probably need to go to a specialty store for my robust frame. But these physical attributes have led to some comic moments when the rapid transit train gets crowded. There is a manga trope, maybe you've seen it, a schoolboy on a packed train who ends up sandwiched between two women of, say, my height and voluptuousness, and I believe I've already made a lasting impression on several of the younger passengers. But I've also been offered seats on the train or otherwise. I watched one man on the train look me up and down and offer his seat to me, probably to the disappointment and chagrin of the schoolboy standing right in front of me. Another man at a food cart looked me up and down and then goes walking around a corner to pick up a metal stool. He comes walking back around the corner. He's polishing the seat with a cloth, sets it down right in front of me, presumably acknowledging the level of effort inherent in toting around an ass with this magnitude of thickness. Now make no mistake, I'm flattered by the attention I've received. If nothing else, it's made me consider an OnlyFans page dedicated to giantess content. So I'd like to thank my parents for the genetics and my surgeon for the technology that's made me what I am today. I'm not really sure what that is, but it certainly seems to have delighted many other people than just me, so I figure it must be good. So talk soon. Bye.